Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. You guys are in my bathroom. It might be a little bit echoing here. Hopefully it's not. I don't usually film in here a whole lot, but I was in the mood to film in here today because I just love the natural lighting in here. Yes, I do have a filming light in here, but there's a lot of natural light coming in in this room as opposed to my studio. And I guess this is the closest thing I have to show you guys to what my wig looks like in just a different lighting from my studio because I have tons of light in my studio. And I just want you guys to see how my wig looks in a different, you know, lighting situation. I would film with just natural light if I could. Chill. It's going to be dark in here and the sun goes up and down. You already know how that goes. And I'm kind of rambling. But anyways, this video today, I want to show you guys how my wigs, how I can get my wigs to last for more than a day. So, so for this, this install, I'm going to show you guys how I get my wigs to last for up to a week. So I can wrap my wig for a week long. I don't usually like wear my wigs for that long, honestly, because I do like to sleep without my wigs, you know? <laughs> wigs can be a little bit annoying to sleep with, but... I know some people like to have their installs last more than a day or two, so I'm going to show you guys what I do. And I do work out quite a lot, and I be sweating a lot, so therefore, this is going to be a long-lasting install. Now, as you can see, I already have my wig cap on my head, and I'm doing the ball cap method. And by the way, the wig cap I'm wearing, it's a by yours truly. So yeah, everything I use will be linked in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut away all the extra mist that we have going on here because I don't need this. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle scissors. Now, some parts of this video is gonna be in voiceover mode because honestly, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I'm just not one of those people. Like I cannot multitask for the life of me. I'm not very good at it. When I'm doing something, I need to focus on just that one thing. I like to start off by cutting by the ear. I hate when the wig cap leaves this line on my forehead because I know it's going to take a minute for this to go away. Alright, so I cut off all the excess wig cap that I don't need. I'm going to go ahead and apply some liquid foundation on my wig cap just to like, you know, kind of hide my hair to conceal it so it's not poking through because the HD wig caps are very thin as you can see. So you can literally see my hair. So I got to cover this up a bit and I'm going to go in with my foundation, something that is my skin tone. Yeah, so we're going to go into voiceover mode right now and I just added the foundation all over my ball cap. Now, I, we got to talk about this wig. So the wig that I'm rocking today, it's by West Kiss. This is exactly how it looks. Brush out the box. The knots are super, super tiny, but I still had to bleach them because they were still visible. And it's like a body wave, like it came with curls already. So this is exactly how it's looking straight out the box. I'm going to bleach this off camera, bleach the knots, and this is how it's looking. So I bleach the knots and I wash the hair and all those beautiful curls are now gone. And I'm not the best at curling hair, but yeah, this is how the wig looks now that I popped it on my head. We're going to move on to the install. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Sticky Little Secrets Skin Protector. And this is just going to protect against sweat and oily skin. And it helps it enhance the glue performance as well. This is how I get a super strong, long lasting hole with all my wig installs. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this out on the cotton pad and then I'm going to pat that along the forehead area. So now we're going to go ahead and apply the glue and I'm using my very own glue, my sticky little secret a lace glue. All the products is, you know, my products, you guys. So all the products will be listed in the description box down below. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that glue to my forehead and then I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and just kind of like, you know, spread that like butter and I just add a little bit of that glue to the wig cap as well. It's going to really hold that wig down and make sure that it is secure and it's long lasting so again I applied a second layer of glue now because I want this install to last me for more than a week it can last up to two weeks so I did add about three layers of glue now you could add four to five but honestly three it's pretty strong for me I do sweat a lot when I do work out but besides from that I'm not really like sweaty and but when I do work out I do get pretty sweaty but anyways i'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and i'm just gonna go ahead and melt that down and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply some glue to the sides as well some people tend to apply the glue all the way from the forehead to the ear i like to do things in section because i just find it a lot easier to do it that way so again i'm gonna add three layers of glue to the side and once those glue is dry clear i'm gonna pull the lace down and then put my melting band on so we're gonna melt her down 
first after it's melted down for about 10 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and cut away all that extra lace because we don't need it now we're gonna just jump right into the melting spray so after i remove the melting bands that i left on for about 10 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and apply the my sticky little secret melting spray and this is what gives my wig a super seamless flawless finish like what lace never heard of her so i'm just gonna put the band on leave it on for about 15 minutes and i'm gonna go in with my flat iron and i have this thing called a grip comb on my flat iron and this is basically me trying to do the chasing method i think this is actually a really cool thing to have on your flat iron except for i have a rounded flat iron so it didn't fit very well it's better to use one of those flat iron that are that are very flat on the top so my hair is done straightening and i'm going to go in with my concealer and i'm just going to go ahead and create a center part make it look more perfected as you can see when i bleached the knots on this uh frontal i kind of went a little overboard so i had to fix that with eyeshadow so i i do fix that in the end of the video but honey the lace is melted it looks bomb by the way guys this is actually the very next day so this is what my wig looks like on day two it's even more melted on day two and then i switched back into the top that i was wearing because i was not feeling the white but yeah i was too lazy to do my makeup the day before so yeah this is pretty much the completed look i absolutely love how flawless this came out and yeah this is pretty much how my wig looks now when it comes to styling my wig and how i sleep in wigs like i said i don't really love sleeping in wigs but sometimes when i do sleep in my wigs i do apply my melting band so i tie my melting band back down on my wig and i put my bonnet on and that's how i keep my wig nice and secure and my install lasts a long time so i pretty much just wear my melting band i wear it in the house as well so if i'm not going anywhere i'll keep my melting band on but i don't usually keep it on all day and then when i do work out so yeah that's pretty much how i get my wig installs to last for more than a week i hope this video was helpful to you guys and i hope you learned something from this i'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys thank you so much for watching bye